Right to Life of Michigan and other pro-life organizations just held a press conference to officially begin the Michigan Values Life petition drive to ban dismemberment abortions. Let's get right on out to local board Jason Colthorpe, who joins us now with a look at what exactly happened. Jason? You know, the petition drive starts right now, Everett. It's basically they need 347,000 signatures. Uh, and it starts today, so that's 180 days from now that they have to get those. Now, the Right to Life of Michigan wants to get 400,000, so there's they have extras in case there are some that are invalidated. That's standard procedure. And if you're wondering, what is dismemberment abortions and how is that different? Because we have, of course, Roe v. Wade and we have Michigan's ban on abortion. What this would do would effectively ban the procedure of what that is and sparing you the gory details, but you can assume with the word dismemberment what it is. The timeline of it is when a, a mother is pregnant from weeks 13 to 24, this is the procedure that is used and they want to stop that from happening. Uh, and here's some of, there are a lot of speakers today who very passionate about this, as you might understand. And let's hear from one of them now. This was a human being put to death in a most horrific torture method. That's what it is. It's torture, torture method that on the worst day of our lives, we would do it to a dog. Now, coming up uh, in a couple hours, we're going to be right over there and we're going to be talking to Governor Gretchen Whitmer to get her take on this because uh, she has said she would veto any legislation like this. So it'll be very interesting to hear what she has to say about that. Never well, Jason, this process would basically cut out the voters. Why not send it to the voters to decide? Yeah, if it could actually go to the voters if the legislature voted it down if it passes but of course they know they have the votes in the legislature to pass it so once that happens it becomes law but yes that's the main uh, kind of contention with this is you're cutting out the voters why are you doing that when they say you know the the reasoning is a lot of times we always do that with our legislature the governing body decides things and in their words it's interesting here what they're basically doing here is they're cutting out the governor and replacing her with 400,000 voters. We'll have to get the governor's take on that a little bit later. Back All to right. you. Jason Colthorpe reporting live for us this afternoon.